At the end of 2013, the most literally noticeable object of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, the ventilation stack, went down in history. In case anyone didn't know. Everyone who has ever watched a documentary after the explosion remembers its outline. Saw it down and bury it. Immediately after the atomic explosion, the pipe lost its balance. Eyewitnesses say that the supporting structures seemed to be hanging in the air, they had to be reinforced over time. But at the same time, the construction of the object shelter too, the so-called new sarcophagus, continued. To bypass the ventilation pipe or to cover it with a new sarcophagus was very difficult technologically and also economically unreasonable. So the engineers decided to go another way and build a new ventilation system away from the future sarcophagus. And they planned to dismantle the previous one in the future. At first glance, destroying a massive structure is not a very difficult task. As the saying goes, to break is not to build, dismantle and remove. But in fact it was not so easy. First, we were talking about an object weighing over 350 tons. It weighs about seven loaded freight cars. And the height of the pipe is about 150 meters, it is like 33 floors of a house. Simply knocking such a thing down meant destroying hundreds of square meters of the old sarcophagus and releasing radioactive dust. The dust would fly from the reactor under the tube and from the tube itself, inside which tons of radioactive soot had accumulated. In addition, because of the high levels of radiation, as few people as possible had to work on the dismantlement. This meant dismantling would have to be carried out in several stages. The State Institute Adam Energostroyprokt was working on the project. Adam Energostroyprokt had been working on the project for several months. The result was to saw the tube into six parts, dismantle them one by one and bury them in the engine room of Unit 3. To begin the work, the only thing that was expected was to put the new pipe into operation, which happened in the middle of October. A German crane helped. The main hero of the dismantling became a unique heavy crane demag with lifting capacity 1,600 tons, which allows you to lift up to 70 tons of cargo on a 200-meter boom. There are not more than a dozen of such machines in the world. Exactly this crane was delivered by sea from Italy, or it was engaged in other works. From the port in Ilyachevsk it was carried by 92 trucks to Chernobyl. A crane with different characteristics would not have been useful in Chernobyl. The ventilation pipe was 100 meters away from the nearest level piece of land where a crane could, in principle, be installed. The project was completed in record time. The unusual work at Chernobyl did not go unnoticed by the Western press. For example, the British newspaper The Independent wrote before the start of the dismantlement, this is one of the most difficult jobs. Segments of the pipe weighing 55 tons each, full of radioactive soot and dust, will be cut with a plasma torch by teams of two men and will be removed by crane. Lifting the segments will be very hectic, if the crane misses or the operator miscalculates and the segment hits the reactor, a new cloud of radioactive dust could enter the atmosphere. The builders were in a hurry, managing to complete the entire project in a record time of 25 days. Fortunately, there were no major incidents. But that's not to say everything went off without a hitch. During the lifting of the sixth and penultimate pipe segment, the crane's safety systems broke down. The gas pipe and the limiting structures had already been cut. But the crane could not lift the segment, the fragment turned out to be much heavier than the design engineers had calculated. It was Friday, 3 p.m. The pipe was cut off, a fragment was practically hanging over Unit 4. We had to start the reverse process of unbolting the pipe and welding it in. This unique work was done under harsh radiation conditions. We decided to remove and lift the pipe trunk and truss separately. At night the work continued. According to him, the plan was reworked during the night. The heavy fragment was cut in two parts and started to move in parts. Because of the unforeseen complications Western consultants offered to change the personnel of the installers who were engaged in the work. The pipe fragment was left hanging in the air. After dismantling the pipe there is nothing to prevent the Novarka Consortium from assembling a new safe facility, Shelter 2, above the destroyed buildings of Units 3 and 4.
Synopsis The ventilation stack is one of the necessary structural elements of a power unit with a nuclear reactor. Known to most of our fellow citizens, the striped vent pipe of BT2 ensured blowing of air into the rooms of Units 3 and 4, creating conditions for operation of people and equipment in conditions of increased levels of radiation. After tragic accident on Chernobyl NPP in April 1986 the pipe continued to fulfill its function ventilation of premises and creation of conditions for personnel work. In general, Chernobyl is no longer the same. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.